Baldwin. He went to Harvard for medicine. He went to Yale for divinity studies. In 1830, he had a calling as a missionary. And about a month before the ship was going to leave for Hawaii, he was informed that they were not sending single men to Hawaii because his fiancée had broken their engagement. She didn't want to go to Hawaii. So when Dr. Baldwin was introduced to Charlotte, he proposed within an hour. She accepted one week later, and they were married that day. Wow. Huh. Yeah. Three weeks later, they were on a whaling ship bound for Hawaii. So mm -hmm. Because she wanted to get out of there. <laughs> well, she was 25, and 25 back then was getting up there. How old was he then? 32. So what we have of the Baldwins that they brought with him when they came here are these two rocking chairs and Mrs. Baldwin's sewing box. Oh. And these came with them on a whaling ship 185 years ago. No Panama Canal back then, so all the way down the east coast of South America, around Cape Horn, five and a half months at sea. Mrs. Baldwin taught sewing to the Hawaiian women. Hmm. So when the Baldwins first moved into this house, they and their kids all slept in this room. They slept on the floor. They didn't have a bed until much later. Well, how many kids did they have? They had eight. Oh. Four boys and four girls. But two, one boy and one girl died of dysentery before the age of three. So when they moved here, they had how many? They had two. But they raised six kids in the house. And as the family grew, Dr. Baldwin added on. So this room was originally the nursery. Uh, Mrs. Baldwin later used it for her washroom because the outhouse was way out there on the edge of the property. A sea 